a random thought, I thought to myself. You all know the famous most loved kid slash adults cartoon of all time, Spongebob Squarepants. It's been around for more than 20 years. I've been watching it more than I should have, and I noticed something that could probably blow your mind right now. When you watch the show, you will notice that the abundant use of the word barnacle. And if you don't know, barnacles are encrusters attaching themselves temporarily to a hard substrate. Basically, they're parasites. And yes, I did just Google that. But in the show, the word barnacle is used in so many ways. It's used as the usual parasite. Sorry about this, barnacles, but it's spring cleaning time. I forgive you. I take it back! It's also a blemish on your face and back. <laughs> barnacle. What? Pearl, I'm going to say this as tactfully as possible. There is a hideous barnacle growing out of the side of your face. Where? There. Time to pop my back barnacles. It's a curse word. Crabs, crabs can't show up at the reunion like this. I'm pink and soft and unmanly. I'm on crab. And no ab! <laughs> Barnacle! <laughs> SpongeBob! Sorry about the foul language, Mr. Krabs, but you're acting like there never was a man in that shell. A pronoun for a certain superhero. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy unite! <laughs> and food. Well, you two astronauts can eat marshmallows. I'm gonna have a can of Swedish barnacle balls. Just as soon as I can get my can off. Harold Whale Girl and SpongeBob. Oh no! I'm out of coral on a stick! Time to chomp through the fried barnacles. At this time, survival looks bleak. The last one made me question the fact that they ate the stuff that grows on their face and back. I guess that's why they're called bottom feeders. Mm -hmm.